During the siege of Tobruk in 1941, an Australian soldier decided it was high time to lighten the sombre mood. Private Walter John Jack Darnley fashioned together this makeshift banjo using an army mess tin called a Dixie, a discarded drum, a plastic toothbrush and carved wood. He used a 303 to put a hole in the Dixie tin and had his wife send the strings from Australia. Jack's son, John, donated what became known as the Darnley Dixeline and other paraphernalia to Birdwood Military Museum in Geraldton. I call it Dixeline because it's made out of an army Dixie. <coughs> Basically, uh, the army Dixie was their food tray. Well, he would have used it to entertain his mates in the trenches. The interesting uh, <coughs> part of the, about the um, Dixeline is not so much the actual construction of it, but it had his whole battalion on it, some signatures on it, and all the theatres of the war that he was in. And uh, uh, the other part of interest, which is tragic, was that most of the people on that, uh, on the signatures that are there, uh, died at Ruin Ridge, <coughs> which was a, a, a ridge that was taken from the Germans by the battalion and um, were later not relieved by the British as they were supposed to be and it was recaptured by the Germans and they all died. Amongst the paraphernalia is a handwritten card Jack received in the trenches announcing the birth of his son. In his foxhole uh, and uh, <coughs> he received a card nominating the, uh, that uh, he had a son who was born on, that <coughs> on the 4th of April 1941 and uh, that happened to be me. After Jack's death, John also discovered reams of songs and poems his father had penned about the battlefields. The Rats at the Rook. We give our thanks to the Navy for helping us in our fight. They bought us supplies and ammo and took out the wounded by night. Six weary months we've been here and we're fed up to the eyes, dodging shrapnel and bullets and tortured with sandstone, storms and fire. John also heard whispers of his father's wild leisure time exploits, including the time he and two buddies stole a plane while on leave in Egypt. They um, got into all sorts of strife. Uh, <coughs> another occasion, um, they actually broke into the officer's canteen and, and stole a case of beer. Uh, which they distributed amongst their mates. Together, the artefacts and stories paint a picture of a bold and outgoing larrikin. It wasn't until much later that John understood why the father he came to know was so different to the man who once sung with his mates in the trenches of Tobruk while strumming music on his handmade Dixeline. Though I didn't understand at the time, uh, he liked to drink. He used to have nightmares at night, which I used to hear, and uh, I never understood. But uh, since my son's been in the army and suffers from the same things, I now know that was um, <coughs> uh, he was suffering from depression, and uh, had I known that at the time. Um, I probably would have viewed him differently. But um, I think he drank to forget. 